Okay, today we're gonna do a little something different. Um, Northern Michigan, you never know when it's gonna start snowing, so let's, uh, uh, which one should we work on today? Let's, uh, let's get this little craftsman out here. and tight all right I'll bring you back when I set you up on the bench all right before we go on the bench let's just uh let's see pretty much like the basics you know see what kind of fuel we're working with here oh goodness that thing's on there come on oh what in the world is this? It's like an aspirin bottle. Oh, goodness. All right, hold on. I know. Overkill, right? All right. Well, there's some fuel in there. Actually, it looks like completely clean. Huh, that's crazy. So, these things, I picked I pick these things up pretty much all year round and then this time of year I kind of bring them out and, and uh, get them going and then, then uh, sell them on Marketplace, you know. Um, where is that flashlight goodness gracious now you can't tell me no one ever does not lose their tools but i know i lose my tools all the time let's see and it's dead so let's uh This is a Streamlight company. Very good company. Uh, comes with the charger and everything. I put one of my videos, I'm not positive, but you just swap it out for another one. You know. There we go. I like having the two battery thing because, you know, nice and bright. Even has a strobe for if you have it in your car or something, you know, pretty cool. Nice and hard. I've had this one years. All right, let's check it out. Mm. Yeah, it looks a little yellow. Mm. It's sitting out there in that shed for a little bit. Uh, like I said, I pick them up, you know, all year long and... This one doesn't look in bad shape, actually. I mean, it's gotten, you know, the plastics are all busted up. Um, I did notice that these are a little bit, I don't know. We'll see, right? But, you know, and it's got a little bit of rust down here. But, I mean, the directional shoot works just fine. Let's, uh... Let's try to fire her up real quick and see what we got. It's a little pool tab for your ignition, it looks like the little start and stop thing. This is pool key. So that's uh doesn't feel like it's getting any resistance. Let's see here. It feels very like the compression is not. 
Oh, we might have a bad motor here. Huh. Let's uh look at the oil here. Focus. Huh. Oil looks brand new and full. That's a mystery. A lot of times what people do, they get these new machines, they don't they don't read the directions. They don't uh you know, they don't take care of the doggone thing. So, you know, it, it it's not surprising that this thing will be looking that that good and I found it in the trash, you know. So, all right, let's get into her. All right, so it looks like I'm going to take some of these 10 mil bolts out. This is a Craftsman uh, electric start, 179 cc four cycle overhead valve. I mean, it should be a good, good, good little uh, snow blower, but it's, I, yeah, I don't want to bash Craftsman, but their, their stuff is getting more and more kind of, you know, chintzy. Yeah. I, I don't know if it's, that's the word, but you know, See, it says do not use E85. E That's so those uh, little little components in there don't fry, you know, from uh, E85. Um, you know, and get all clogged up and everything. But, uh, yeah, let's, let's see what else we got here. Okay, so we're going to have to take this bottom part out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that. I can't do it with uh, one hand. And uh, I'm sure you don't want to see me struggling. So uh, let's uh, let's get into it. Okay. So all I did was just take the two 10 mils right here. Like I said, one right here in the center. There's one right here in the center, and two right here on the side. And then just kind of folds down there. Take it right off. Don't step on it. Done that before. Uh, so let's, uh, I think before we do anything, I think I want to do a compression test on this thing because it just, it, it was, I, you know, it also could have a, um, compression release inside the motor, but I'm not positive. Let's, um, do a compression test before we even mess with the carb or anything. Okay. So I took out that, uh, spark plug. It does not look good oil soaked just you know junk so we'll put that to the side it's not looking promising folks I'll tell you that let's uh let's check for spark real quick i get these spark testers from uh harbor freight i love them i mean they're five bucks you know you step on one your dog eats one whatever you you know i mean five dollars so you know all righty let's uh let's see if i can hold this camera here and still still look at this uh hold on let me set you up here all right let's see if we got spark hmm. well, don't look like it Sometimes these uh sometimes these things right here go bad. So it's just like a two wire. Let me turn the light back on. Sometimes it's just a two wire that uh that goes bad in there, you know, like the connection and goes bad. So we're not gonna like assume that the coil is bad just yet. So I mean, well, hope it ain't my $5 Harbor Freight tester there. That would be a disaster. Oh, good thing it's not my $5 Harbor Freight tester. So, um, I tried it on uh, one of my, uh, you know, off camera, I tried it on one of my uh, lawnmowers that I knew that had spark. So, it may be this right here. So, let's, let's check this out here. 
this thing here, you just unplug it. Well, come on now. What in the world? The simplest crap, you know? Let's get it together here. What? Let's get it. No wonder why the doggone thing don't work. It won't. Okay, hold on. Okay. Well, the whole doggone thing came out of there. But anyways, the way that it works here is that when this doodad here goes in there, it separates those electrodes there. You know. So... If you have them separated, see how they're together normally? Had a little, little spring. So we're gonna go ahead and we're going, you know, just go ahead and, and keep them separated right here, you know. So we'll see how exactly if that's getting any kind of signal, you know. So, all right, let's set you up there. Okay, now. Well, hold on there, ladies and gentlemen. I think that would be our problem. Huh. Well, I found that thing in the trash. Hmm. Well. She got spark, and it looks like she got compression. Well, what the hell do we do now? Let me put that thing back together and see if it uh, was just a bad connection. All right, before we get into the carburetor, let's, uh, let's see if she'll start back up now that we installed this thing. All right, jet beer. All right, now it it turns on and off with the uh, well, essentially the key there. So yeah, let's uh, take these two nuts off right here. Slide this out get into that carburetor you know it's going to be dirty so let's just clean it all right so this is uh to nail here oh first let's cut that uh that fuel line let's pinch that fuel line off These things are good for that. You get them, uh, I mean, you can, I, I've even seen them uh, on, uh, I mean, in Harbor Freight before, um, but I got these ones from Amazon. They're like eight bucks for the two. Uh, you get a, a bigger one and a smaller one. If I'm repetitive in my videos, things that I say, um, it's, it's really on purpose because I don't know if someone's seen one of my videos, all of my videos. Um, you know, with that being said, like and subscribe. Um, you know, help me out. Uh, maybe we can even get a tripod. That might be good, huh? Yeah, stop, you know. Because at the moment, my uh, tripod here is old, old Maxwell house. So, just lean you up there in the Maxwell house coffee can and give it hell, you know. But, yeah, let's, so you, you grab onto it and you twist. Just twist a little bit. Don't try to wreck it, you know. So, there you go. Got that off. Got that off there. Let's get these off here. Let's see. All right. 
right? Put it in the old muffin tray. You know, don't steal your wife's. So, you get those from the dollar store. There you go. All right. Okay, let's set you back. Oh, assembly out there. That little breather tube there. Well, that's actually not the breather tube. I'm sorry. That's the uh, um, primer tube. So get your stuff right there, Lewis. All right. Now, when you're doing this, it's very easy to wreck these plastic pieces. So you got to be careful. Now, that uh, that spring right there, uh, you do that one first and be very gentle because if you stretch that spring these things are very temperamental these i mean they're you know they're damn near exact the way that they need to be when they're made you know so just be careful now when you pull this out you you got to pull it out pretty much all the way and then lift this up kind of like put this like parallel see this right here right you got to work it a little bit so you could get kind of kind of straight away and then it just lifts off of there like that See, see there. Oh, and then, you know, drop shit, of course. But yeah, this, and then she slides right on out. So let's go over to the bench and check her out. All right. So I get these from just about anywhere, you know. Um, I I have a set of gear wrench, you know, uh, who actually came out with it. But Pittsburgh has just as good as, well, I wouldn't say just as good. But, they, you know, they do the trick. These these things right here, these little 10 millimeter ratchet wrenches are your friend. Now, that's, no, that's not my only friend. So don't, don't think that. But, you know, this, this will be your friend here. So let's see here. Let's break that loose. Now, let's, I kind of want to save some of this because I want to see what's in there, you know. Let me see what's in there to show you guys. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, we got a in there. See? Let's see here. Let me do this two hands. Yeah, look at all that macaroni in there. That's not going to work. All right. Even though it's... Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at all that jelly. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, we're just going to put it in the Vibrasonic there, so don't you worry. We're gonna get it. We're gonna get it right. Yeah, look at all that in there. That's not good. That ain't gonna fly. So, let's take out your pin there. Okay, put that to the side. Now, slowly lift that. Oh, that's good because sometimes those are stuck, you know. So, all right. Slowly bring that out. That's good. Okay, everything's looking like it should. Oh, see this right here? This little gasket? Sometimes, believe it or not, I just leave it on there if it's going to rip. Because these are kind of hard to... The the OEM ones are very good. The aftermarket ones, they're kind of, you know... You know, just kind of Chinese-y, you know. And so... This little uh, thing right here, you back that out. Now, I got this kit right here. I got this kit from Amazon. I think it's like 12 bucks. So what you can do is that you could just find your little, because these, these jets right here, they have this certain kind of little thing, but you can also heat up a screwdriver and get it out of there, you know, or... Or just kind of finesse it out of there but i you know i got the tool so you know it even comes with these little pipe cleaners and things you know and and, and it's pretty cool so you just find your your uh size here right and yeah uh, don't tell me i ain't got it in here no don't don't say that don't be seeing all of that. So, let's see here. Well, what the hell? Let's see here. You're going to make me a liar about the whole thing. 
Hold on. I thought this kit had some of those in there. It's a little too small, that one. All right. Well, we might have to use the the old method of heating up a screwdriver and sticking it in there. But I don't like doing that because I like using the stuff that I pay for, you know. Let's see here. Okay, so we kind of lucked out. I got these little flathead kind of, you know, I made these uh, years ago. They're, you know, but it just kind of back that out there. Yeah, it should back out now. Yeah, you just back that out there um, any way that you can really, but don't wreck it, you know, because uh, pretty much, I don't think that you can rebuy that little, that, that, that little screw there so oh and pay attention of the the um of the turns on it you know because that right there it kind of see how that it stops it yeah so i'll kind of pay attention of the turns i'm on two turns right now it's half One. Well, you get the, uh, you get the point of it, you know. I'll bring you back. Okay, now, yeah, this is that little. See how it's got that little space in there? There's a tool. I don't have it in this, uh, this kit, but um, this this kit right here is mainly for um doing weed whippers you know with those special uh screws on there anyways this this right here take that out oh uh, you don't have to clean that but you do have to clean this other one right here see now you take a uh flathead screwdriver of sorts and you pry up on there there it goes all right pry up on there and you get that little jet out so that little jet it always plugged up in that little space right there let's let's actually look at that real quick see if she's plugged up so yeah she's a little bit she you know she got a little macaroni in there so yeah let's okay yeah let's get in there and get all that See, you can see right through the big one, but you can't, let's see this first one here, but, but you can't see through the, the bottom one there. So sometimes what you got to do, you got to get that nice and, and uh, clear it out or it's not going to idle properly. It doesn't want to sit there and, you know, when you put a load on it, it's not, it's, it's not going to feed the fuel properly. So, all right, put that one to the side. All right. Put that up here. All right, now, I'm going to bring you back when we get her into the, the uh, Vibersonic there. So, so we're just going to get the simple green here. line the bottom simple grease should, should send me some of this right here i use all that i mean i can be like simple green like you know they can be like my buddy or something i don't know you know but send me something i use that crap on everything all right so i'm gonna go ahead and put some water up to here and uh, then while that is um, in the Vibersonic, uh, we'll address some more issues that I think this thing has. Well, hold on here. 
You're kind of going too fast. Now we got to get that emotion tube out of there. Emotion, motion. I don't know what you call it, but. Now make sure that this screwdriver tip is kind of slender, but you also want your your same size on this side. So you, you kind of got to fool with what you can stick inside there, you know. Um, let's see, what is this one here? The other one's probably lost somewhere, but yeah, see this one will work here. So you just back this out. And a motion tube will come out. Come on now, don't be, don't be fooling around in there. What's going on? Sometimes you get it loose. You tap on it a little bit. Well, that didn't work. All right, so sometimes also what you gotta do, you gotta kind of tap. Here it comes, oh, there she is. Okay, now this is your main jet right here. And the tube is also down in there. See it, it just popped out of there. Now here's your motion tube. And then the other one's your jet, your main jet. So we're gonna go ahead and put both of those in a pot. There we go. We're gonna put old macaroni in there. We're gonna put Big Daddy in there. So let's uh let's do this thing. Let's get this thing rocking and rolling so we can get some learning done. All right. All right. We got it all in there. See, I like to uh, put mine at 65 Celsius. Uh, let's put it on there for 25 minutes. All right, start that. That's the heat, that's the vibration. Oh yeah. Get all that macaroni out of there. I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on. Let's see what else we can get into. All right, let's address some of this fuel here. I don't, I don't believe it's it's uh, very old, but you never know, you know. So uh, let's see. So don't do all that now. Put that up there. All right. So let's put this down in there. I like to use something clear because I want to see if there's any uh, water in the fuel. Oh, by the way, this is this is my uh, mason jar, not my wife's. So, just to tell you, I got in trouble for that one too. That, so I take the Miracle Whip jars too that she gets. She does a lot of canning. I keep telling her she should have a canning uh, YouTube channel, but she says that's that's my thing, not her thing. So. Um, you know, she loves the channel, of course, but she, she, she's a little shy, so. Yeah. It actually looks like pretty doggone good beer coming out of there. But, but it, it doesn't look like fuel, but, you know. So, I kind of let it drip a little bit there and let everything... Um, Settle down to the bottom because you're not going to know right away if there's water in here. So it usually, you know, it sits down in the bottom there and starts to get kind of, you know, cloudy and whatnot, you know. Sometimes you just got to kind of like um, hold it to one side to see. Um, very little bit will 
will prevent this thing from working. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it, it doesn't take much for, you know, to be in there. But I think, oh, it smells really bad. But um, I, I don't think that it, uh, it's, it's bad, like, uh, like f full of uh, debris in it. But this, uh, it, it's not going to ignite a damn thing, you know, really, you know. I mean, you, you've seen it running earlier, but... You you just don't want to get into the habit of putting old gas into things, you know. It just makes for a bad day. I mean, it it'll start for a while, then it starts to sputter and everything, and and you know, it, it's just not good for the motor. Okay, I just wanted to show you a trick here. Now, this little kit, if you're ever going to be doing these things, um, this this kit right here from Amazon, a, a buddy of mine, Tom Hill, got me these years ago. I love them. I mean, this thing is like, it comes with the little uh, handle, you know. But there's tiny, tiny little uh, drill bits in here. You know, micro bits, they're called. And yeah, I, I like to take the tiniest one and work my way up, you know. Now, be careful. You'll, uh, you'll break these little things. So don't go, you know, tightening them to Texas and that, you know. So... Let's see here. Get it, get it nice and straight and just slowly work your way in there. Kind of, you know, well, let's get the fingernails out of there. They ain't nothing pretty. All right, let's see here. Just enough to get it to, you know, because you'll break off them little tips in there. You know, don't don't think you won't. All right. So and then I like to use my, you know, my little brush right here, and then to get in there, and um, you know, that's also a a good way to do it. Fine little. Oh yeah, see, I just cleared it out right there. So I grinded it a little bit with that uh, drill bit, and then I just, yeah. Yeah, she had some macaroni on there, so there we are. Awesome. Now that right there would keep you from having a bad day with these little snow, snow blowers. I just want to show you something. See all those little white flakes in there, kind of floating? That's that thing had water in it. So be careful. Water is not your friend in these things. All right. Let's see what we got. Let's do this. All righty. Let's get our. this out of there oh yeah I think she might need a little bit more secondary cleaning uh, this is you know you know mostly if it's not too bad oh yeah see that got okay you know that's nice and clean <sighs> little piece of macaroni but you can blow that all out of there so um there's the emulsion tube. The main jet's probably down in there. That's the only thing I don't have is a little net for this or a little basket for this uh, thing here. But, yeah, I'll bring you back once we get all cleaned up here and, and, and whatnot. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go through and kind of do like a little secondary cleaning. So you get these things here from the dollar store. You know, and just kind of do like a little bit of a secondary cleaning after the the uh, Vibersonic. Because sometimes, you know, it may not get the 
really rough stuff because you, you don't want the solution in there to be too aggressive because you end up doing more harm than good. So, yeah, that's not bad. Let me dab that a little bit. Get some of that. Okay, so no rips or anything like that. That's good. This is nice and free and clear now. Okay. All right. This is nice and free and clear here. That's good. Put that over there to the side. We cleaned this earlier. You know that. Now let's go to the motion tube here. What we're going to do, we're going to get this mechanics wire and just go inside all these little little holes here you know so the holes on the top goes right through okay go right through you go to each and every one because one plug will cause you problems don't think it won't okay now the ones toward the bottom are a little bit uh smaller so that's where this guy comes in handy again so you just uh let's see here focus now you just put these in there see how it's going right through there let's see if we can see that okay all right so then every single little one again with this wire brush uh bristle every single one of those okay now that now that one's good now you can see right through it that one's good put that one to the side here's your pin now let's pay attention to this because remember all that macaroni that was in there we gotta get that the hell out of there you know so let's pay let's pay attention to what's going on down on the bottom here because there's still a little bit down there. Um, I should have put it on there for 30 minutes instead of 25. But, you know, it's it's okay. We can, you know, we can get that, that, that this uh, debris out of there. You know, rough them up a little bit. There you go. Um, it's okay to have a little bit of pitting because it, this is steel. It's not, you know, anything special. Uh, make sure that this is nice and tight and that your seal is not torn or broken. If you don't have to take this off, do not take this off because a lot of times what will happen, that little bitty seal will uh, will rip and it's hard to find that little sucker right there without having to get the whole, you know, the whole kit or whatever. So here's your main jet. Let's see how that goes right through there. It's good, nice and free and clear. You know, I don't like using a whole lot of different things but these. Because it just works, you know. Um, sometimes you have to get those little uh, drill bits and everything, but um, most of the time you don't. So, okay, so now your check your spring here on your float nice and good okay now check your uh, little rubber boot on your needle that's all nice okay let's get some compressed air going blow some of this out oh all right compressor kicked on Now we're all set, ready for a reassemble. So what goes first? Your motion tube there, put that down in there. Now the way that you put that down in there is that this portion right here goes on the bottom. So just slide that down in there. And then this guy here goes on top of there. Get your screwdriver well, where in the heck did I put that screwdriver? Let's see here. 
One of you people uh, got my dog on screwdriver? What happened? Huh? Where'd it go? Everything. Oh. They put it back where I got it from. Huh. What's going on there? The stars must be aligned to putting things back where they go. So, all right, here we go. All right, now, when you go to seat this, just a little turn with a tiny bit of pressure, and that's it. Don't try to tighten it to Texas, you know. So, all right, we'll put our float back on here. Put our put our little pin back in there. Now, pay attention to the way that this is seating. Okay, it's got a little bit of a bounce to it, right? So, kind of like lift it up. Just make sure that 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 needle right there is going up and down when you're doing that. If it's not going up and down, it's not going to work properly. So, that's just a little chip there. Now, here's our gasket. It, is not, it doesn't have any rips or anything like that. But, we are going to put a new one on there. Because, you know, I have them here in stock there. You know, so, and you get those, you get those from Amazon also. Amazon's got all the stuff for this, this repair, you know, so let's see if that was the right one. Now. There's two different sizes. There's two different sizes. There's the round ones and there's the flat ones. Okay, so let's see here. You know, actually, this is the flat one, it looks like. So we're just going to reuse our old one. Our, but yeah, you can get these from uh, Amazon there. So I'm just going to go ahead and lightly take the paper towel. And kind of drag it let's see kind of drag it like this to get it kind of you know if there's any kind of dirt or anything like that we'll look on the paper towel afterwards here yeah see there's a little bit of dirt on there so we kind of saved the the thing from having a potential leak so go on ahead and put her on there nice and smooth like Okay, this guy right here, so this right here, the part that pokes up goes to the back. And then you kind of like give it a little bit of a, you know, a little bit of a couple turns to kind of seat it. And hold it with your thumb. Hold it with your thumb and then, oh, and also inspect your, your, uh, let's your um bolt here that goes in the bottom of your bowl your bowl bolt yeah so go ahead and if, if that has no rips or tears or anything like that in there go ahead and uh put that back down on there there's your 10 millimeter friend there all right just a little bit you don't want to over tighten it because it'll rip that gasket. So now I'm going to also show you here. Let's, oh, before we get too, too out of hand, let's, uh, let's see here. Let's take some compressed air and blow.
Okay. Now, what I like to do, especially putting this one back in there, I like to see if it's free and clear of anything because that this little guy right here will really give you a hard time if it's clogged up still. So let's go back with the wire brush. Go back in there. Now, what is a good practice is that if you can see inside that larger hole on the side, if if that if you could see that bristle on there, because these are very fine jets in there. You know, see it? Kind of work it back and forth a little bit there. There you are. All right, now let's put it back inside here. Make sure that it seats. It's got that little bitty groove on there. So make sure it seats all the way down before you go putting that other screwy looking thing here on there. See, the thing is that a lot of these manufacturers, they don't want you messing with stuff. So that's the reason why they put that certain kind of head on that little plastic uh, screw there. So, all right. And it, again, let's count the the turns I remember in my head what it was so I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it in it's gonna be different for all of them you know somebody might have messed with it before or, you know whatever but all right I'll bring you back once I get that turned in the right way all right now we got that turned in the right way there. All right, let's put that nice clean carburetor back on there. All right, so just put that on there like that. Well, come on now, get it on there. All right, now remember this, uh, this little spring there now i like to put that on first and then that one on because it just you know like when it goes to sliding back and forth and that you know and you don't want to bend that spring too much put that spring back on there i don't remember where it goes that spring on there first it's tedious though you got to remember to be patient with these things don't go having a fit on it you know because it won't it won't uh be right you know you can't go having a fit on it because bending and things you know all right, so let me show you here. So this groove right here just slides back down in there, you know, just a reverse of what you did before. Slowly bring it, you know, slide it in there. Now this guy right here, you got to be careful with these guys. See how that thing right there has a, like a little slot in it? So, and then you see how this, this right here has that little slot in there. You have to match those up there or you know, they're not going to be, you know, um, you know, they're not going to be right. Okay, so do you see what I'm talking about? This little slot right here and this little slot right here. Because you can't go and uh, block those all up because um, it, it won't work properly. All right, so... Take this, see this tube right here, you have to make sure that goes on your valve cover. This is actually, no I better not even say it, I was going to say it, it's actually pretty smooth but you know that, oh well, got it I said it didn't I, so let's see here. Well, get that out of the way. You don't want to be pinching that all over the joint. Well, hold on here. What goes on? What the 
Damn it. Here, just get it on there the way you took it off. Don't go trying to get all fancy about it. You know. There you go. It's a little difficult to put on there because you know they, you know they don't want you messing with these things. They don't want you messing with these things. They say, I know best, and you don't know jack. You know. So. With all of that. Remember, you gotta get that tube back on there. That tube in there. You have to slide around there. Alright. Now, make sure everything's nice and free of kinks because it, just a little bit will mess you up. So, let's get our. Well, that's not it. Let's go over to our muffin tray here and just put these on here. Now, disassemble. Disassemble, I use uh, impact, but reassemble, I use uh, wrenches. Just for the simple fact that over tightening those little gaskets there. Will also wreck it, you know. So let's see here. Let's just little by little, just little by little. There, it's not a race. It's not a race. Get that fuel out of the way before we have an accident thing. Make sure that your lever is free, you know, your choke lever. Make sure all that stuff is free of kinks, you know, okay? All right, let's get some fresh fuel in here and see if she fires up. All right, let's see if she fires up. Do a little prime here. That's all in here. like to see there all right let's start putting her back together now that she runs excellent let me a nice little machine for someone Ready? Okay. That's where we're gonna go in there. Oh, and we're also going to, uh, we're also going to, um, check that electric start, too. Let's, uh, let's not forget about that, you know. So, that'd be nice. 
get that electric start, get that electric start run, uh, works because a lot of people, especially the elderly, they don't like to be pulling on that thing. And, you know, I like to uh, know that someone's not going to have too much problem with my, the things that I repair, because I, I take a lot of pride into my work, you know, so. I'll bring you back when I get an extension cord. Now, sometimes you have a problem uh, finding cords that will fit these because um, when you get these um, not brand new, they don't come with the cord, of course, you know. But this brand right here, I find it fits it really well. Um, with that being said, let's see if that, uh, that thing is going to work there for our our electric start if it does that's even that's even better of course you know all right here we go course don't forget to put your extender back on there because you'd be kind of you know when you got your gloves on in the winter and everything this is the reason why this is oversized too this this uh pull cord here it, uh, it's called a glove handle so when you got your gloves on it can fit inside there if you ever want to know that and this extender too um you know it, it feels really nice in your hand even when you got gloves on so Get that together here. All right, nice and smooth. All right, let's get this thing uh, off here. All right, one more time. So that'll wrap it up. You know, once again, thanks for coming along and getting this stuff, uh, you know, basically safe from the scrapyard. And remember, folks, it's just nuts and bolts. Bye-bye now. God bless.